Hello, thanks for joining us. I'm Susan Roberts in Washington. There are conflicting reports where the United States killed the leader of the Taliban. U.S. forces launched a drone strike in Pakistan aimed at Mullah Mansour. It happened near the border with Afghanistan, and the strike killed at least two people we know. CCTV's Jessica Stone is following the story. And Susan, at this point, the only confirmation of Mansour's death is coming from the Afghan government and a senior Taliban commander. The U.S. government has yet to confirm that their strike met its target. A Pakistan hospital near Quetta received corpses in need of identification Sunday after reports of a U.S. drone strike near the Afghan border. Afghanistan's intelligence agency says Mullah Mansour, the leader of the Taliban, is among the dead. But Afghan officials have falsely reported Mansour's death before. Afghanistan's chief executive says Mansour presided over an escalation in violence against Afghan civilians as thousands became targets of vehicle bombings and suicide attacks. He was a barrier for the peace talks, and from the date he was announced as Taliban's leader, he was behind lots of violence against the Afghan people. The Pentagon says it targeted Mansour Saturday in a drone strike near the town of Ahmad Wall, not far from Quetta. U.S. officials confirm U.S. President Barack Obama gave the order. Just last week, Chinese and American diplomats tried to bring the parties together to negotiate a peace deal. The Afghan Taliban sent no one. Kabul didn't either. In Myanmar, America's top diplomat spoke of Mansour in the past tense. Yet the U.S. has yet to confirm Mansour's death. He also was directly opposed to peace negotiations and to the reconciliation process. It is time for Afghans to stop fighting uh, and to start building a real future together. Afghan officials hope that a future without Mansour will mean peace is more likely. But the Taliban insurgency still counts Sirajuddin Haqqani among its members. Afghan and U.S. officials say he's responsible for last month's attacks in Kabul, which killed 64 people. All of this adding to tensions between Pakistan and Afghanistan. Afghan President Ashraf Ghani has accused Islamabad of using the Taliban to wage war on Afghanistan. And Susan, Pakistani officials are also saying that this drone attack, uh, if it was in fact done without their permission on their land, violates their sovereignty. All righty, Jessica Stone, thank you for the update. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.